Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about tuple relational calculus formula or condition. The general expression of tuple relational calculus is of this form where t1, t2, t3 up to tn plus m are tuple variables and each ai is an attribute of the relation on which tuple variable ti ranges. Cond is a condition or formula of the tuple relational calculus. Now we will study about condition or formula of the tuple relational calculus. A tuple relational calculus formula is made up of predicate calculus atoms which can be of three types. First is an atom of this form RTI where TI is a tuple variable and R is a relation name. This atom specifies that tuple variable ti ranges over the relation whose name is r. If ti is a tuple in the relation r, then this atom evaluates to true, otherwise false. Second is an atom of the form ti dot a of tj dot b where ti and tj are tuple variables a is an attribute of the range relation of ti and b is an attribute of the range relation of tj op is a comparison operator like equal to not equal to greater than greater than equal to less than and less than equal to. Third is an atom of the form ti dot a of c or c of tj dot b where ti and tj are tuple variables. a is an attribute of the range relation of ti and b is an attribute of the range relation of tj. c is a constant value and op is a comparison operator like equal to, not equal to, less than, less than equal to, greater than and greater than equal to. Next topic is tuple relational calculus formula. Every atom is a formula. If F1 and F2 are formulas then F1 and F2, F1 or F2, not F1 and not F2 are also formulas. A tuple relational calculus formula can contain two special symbols called quantifiers. One is this one, it is called universal quantifier and other one is this one. It is called existential quantifier. A tuple variable t is bound 
if it is quantified which means if it appears in this clause or this clause otherwise it is free if f is a tuple relational calculus formula then this expression is also a formula where t is a tuple variable this formula evaluates to true if the formula f evaluates to true for at least one tuple assigned to free occurrences of tuple variable t in f if f is a formula then this expression is also a formula where t is a tuple variable this formula evaluates to true if f evaluates to true for every tuple in the universe assigned to free occurrences of tuple variable t in f otherwise it is false in this formula d dot h equals to 16 tuple variable d is free in this formula tuple variable t is bound and tuple variable d is free thank you very much